What I'd like to do uh, is close this program and open up the 3D model. I'd like to um, show you the garage in context, make it a 3D presentation, and then build the components of the garage on the screen in front of you so you can see all these components that we've added to the building to try to make it a more interesting architecture. see on the top left there is the green and then uh, to the top of the garage site the garage site being right here in the center this is um, South Park Place Morris and then Pine Street Dumont Street and this is the parking area currently located behind the buildings on those streets so now I'm going to tilt this up in a 3D so you can start to see the shapes of the buildings. You see the roller ring in front here, the Wiker building, the Presbyterian Church, and this is the site for the garage. So just tilting it up a little bit, and then basically want to show you that there's a proposed residential building here that's been approved and it's waiting for construction. And that's a new building that you haven't seen yet, so we take that into account. That's a brick building. That's the Baycott residential building. And then this is the garage. I'm going to try to zoom in here. And as I mentioned to you, garages tend to be generally a little bit unattractive. They, 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 they're built with slabs and columns, and they're generally open, and you can usually see in to see the cars. Um, but there are several components that we added to this building in order to create an interesting, an interesting uh, view. So if we turn around the other side, you can see that these are vertical stair towers. There's one here and there's one here, and this is the basic garage. And since this side of the garage faces more towards the green and the traditional buildings, the post office is here, a new proposed brick building here, brick buildings on Mars, we wanted to create a brick facade that faced in this direction. Unfortunately, with this projector, it's not as clear as I'd like it to be, so maybe I'll just zoom in here. But you can see that the garage has been clad with a brick structure on this side that has window openings that are more typical of a building than a parking garage. They're kind of vertical instead of horizontal. There's a beautiful detailing here with brick arches. This is real brick, and if I zoomed in really close, you can probably see the brick joints here. Light fixtures, panels, metal panels, and then a screening to kind of obscure the cars from this view. There's lighting. Uh, and, and, and a big canopy over the entrance on the side, and I will show you all the entrances. Um, if we were to turn around to the other side that faces more towards the arts, what we've done is we've carried the brick base with the arches around the side of the building so it holds together, and then on the upper level, we added a series of louvers, which in the screen is hard to see, but there's a series of louvers, maybe I can zoom in here. That obscure the garage from the inside, but allows it to breathe. Basically, garages are not heated, not heated, and in order to keep them safe, they have to be ventilated. So there's a code requirement that garages have to be open at least 50% on two sides. That's why a lot of these garages that you see are open horizontal slots, just wide open. So we have to clad the building in materials that are breathable but still provide an architectural exterior. So the louvers is one way to do that. I would also mention that this garage has a solar panel array up on the, this half of the roof. That solar panel array will provide power for the garage, but um, it also provides shade and protects some of the upper level cars from snowfall. Um, but we've used it in a clever way to create a cornice. If you look here, the solar panels extend over the building and create an upper level cornice at the top of the building, which I don't know of many garages that actually have a cornice. It's a formal architectural feature that is found on, 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 uh, on, on more historical buildings, but here we use it in a contemporary way so that it doesn't read as a parking garage, but rather reads as an architectural feature. Now, if we go more or less towards the Dumont side, 
The roller rink is here on my right. This is Dumont. This is the Whitehurst building. This is um, the direction which people will be walking to uh, from the Mayo uh, um, Performing Arts uh, thing. So this section of the building is pretty uh, is pretty apparent. You see the staircase here, and what we've done is we researched the material. We call it a scrim. A scrim is a material that's breathable. I have a sample here. It's a breathable material. It's a vinyl material. It has a five-year life, and it can be printed with different images. So the parking authority can choose to change it up with seasons, with different years, and create an artful experience on the exterior of the garage towards the arts. So if we look at this one here, here's an example of what it could look like with fireworks, if fireworks, and this could be completely up to the, the town or the parking authority to choose. We just showed some examples of what this material can do. It's breathable and it creates an exterior and it hides the cars. Um, and here's another example if you wanted to use more of a historic uh, option. This is George Washington and uh, uh, the Revolutionary War. It's a famous uh, photograph that most kind of very familiar with. <coughs> now, the next thing we did is we came into the stair towers. In order to make the stair towers safe, they're all glass enclosed. You can't see the glass, but this is a glass enclosed uh, stair tower. And what we've done is behind the wall, we've created art on the wall. So this could be painted on. In this case, we chose we chose a landscape element of a tree, but this could all be designed uh, with an artist and um, it creates a nice decorative feature and uh, it basically makes uh, the stair tower safe and artful in its expression. So, if we turn around uh, again, you can see the stair tower here. You can see this is the, the ground floor, and as Jerry uh, DeRosa had mentioned, there's an entrance on this side and an entrance on the other side on the ground that go right into the ground floor meeting spaces. The third entrance under the fireworks room is where you go in and go up a ramp. So there's three entrances into the garage, two of which you can actually just pull in and pull out, needed parking, no gate, and it makes it very convenient for the, for the farmer's market. We also made the ceiling height high enough, and you can see in this image here, I have a food truck in there just as a placeholder, but during uh, events like a food, uh, uh, a farmer's market, you could have, on a rainy day, you could have covered areas, you could have a truck that's inside that flexible parking area, and it can be used as a multi-purpose uh, space for exterior events. So if we fly up here and over Morris, this is the Dunkin' Donuts here, this is the post office, and uh, we come in this way. This is the, uh, the entrance to the garage right in here that comes off of uh, comes off the South Park Place. I'm, 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 this view is over the green, looking down at the garage entrance. You can see the post office here. And if I go down to ground level, and I come in here at ground level, you can see how the garage looks. I have a brick building here on the left, the brick post office building, and the brick garage. This does not look like a public uh, parking garage. It's a much more handsome structure, and there's a stair tower here. And if you were going to walk to this garage to get your car, uh, you would drive in here, and you'd walk on this little plaza that goes right out to the sidewalk towards the green. And if uh, get in there just a little closer, you can get a sense of what it feels like as a pedestrian to get close up to this garage and you'd enter right in here. This is one of those glass stair towers. It has a beautiful entrance with a canopy and you'd go in and you'd go up the stairs to the, the, uh, the level that your car is on. Um, or take the elevator. So now, the other entrance is down by Spring Street. I'll show you what that feels like. slide over here. This is the Dunkin' Donuts on my left. This is the new proposed residential building on the right. And this is that extension of Spring Street that has parking on it on both sides. 
Um, and if I get you down to ground level, you get a sense of what the garage looks like. So you see that as you peek through these openings from the perimeter of streets, you get to look into a garage that has a, a, nice, um, a nice handsome design with a brick facade, and it doesn't feel like um, doesn't feel like a standard parking garage, but it's elevated in its design. If I zoomed in a little closer, this is how you would drive into the garage, into those needed spaces on the ground floor. And then, uh, this is going to be from a distance, but you can see I'm, 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 over, the, uh, I'm over the train station here. And if you were down at the train station on the platform level, you'd be able to see it at the garage, it's visible, and you would have a destination. Here's the garage, here's a, a steeple from one of the churches, and you can get a sense that this is the direction you would go in to get towards the garage. It fits into the height context of the town, and um, it's a landmark that's visible from, from the train station. And then as I fly around again, you can see American Headquarters Plaza right here, just to give you a reference. The performing Arts Center is here, the green, and then I can just take uh, the last view getting back towards getting back towards the main entrance on, um, on Dumont. And the last image I have is a maybe a rendering here. So this is more of a finished rendering. That's not a model. It's a little hard to manipulate on this. Uh, so here's a view, a final view. You can see that on, on a day that might have a farmer's market open, there's pedestrians. And this whole public space in here between where the farmer's market could be and the walkways go in and out, will be designed uh, in conjunction with the landscape architect to create plazas and pedestrian space that are fun and walkable and have opportunities to create other activities. So with that, I'd like to just say this is a general overview of what the garage will look like. And um, I think there's any questions if there are any, but um, this is a presentation on garage. Thank you. Is that it for the presentation? Yes, it is. Oh.